Gunther versus Sheamus versus Drew McIntyre. Now you watched the uh, <laughs> the uh, clash at the castle between Gunther and Drew. How uh, sorry, Gunther and Sheamus. Apologies. And how did this one compare to that match? Well, again, it's a three way. But these guys, they did it well. And Gunther at one time, right before the finish, he was out of the ring a long time. And then he came back in, broke up the pin, and then uh, didn't he powerbomb Sheamus on to McIntyre? Yep. And then he rolled him off, and then he pinned McIntyre? No, then he powerbombed McIntyre as well, so pretty dominant win, yeah. Wasn't a bad finish. And really, if I was going to lose myself, That'd been a good finish, because I get a guy two hundred sixty pounds power bombed on me. Then I get power bomb. That's enough to beat me. Mm. So, uh, good match. Gunther is a guy. If they stay behind him, they're going to have some business on him, mm. big time. I saw that right when. Well, I'd heard of, he wasn't he used to. He used to be called Walter, didn't he? He used to be called Walter, all capitalized, like W A L T E R, and uh, then he turned into Gunther. And then I think at the time people were sort of raising an eyebrow, but I think Gunther's actually sort of stuck quite well, hasn't it? Oh yeah. Well, he has that Nazi look to him, and the other two guys. He's from Austria, right? No, I think he's. Uh, I'll double check that, but I think I think Walter Gunther's German. Well, he does, and that's what we're lacking in pro wrestling now. It's kind of a, a stereotype like that. He's Austrian. He, sorry, you were right. Damn right, I was right. <laughs> but I think that's what we're missing in wrestling a little bit now. People are afraid to say the Japanese people come out there. They don't want to do the other than the uh, what's an Oscar? Yeah, Oscar does it, and it's colorful, and it's fun, and you like her. And Gunther comes out there and stands like a Nazi stormtrooper, but yet there's no. There's, there's nothing to connect him other than the way he looks and the way he stands. But still, it's staring you right in the face. Hmm. And you know this guy, you just don't like him. That's the way the old heels used to come out. You know, they come out, you know, you got these big old burly guys and they're snarling. You don't like them. And then you have your baby face guys going, oh, hey, high five. That's what I've criticized WWE before is because when they come out of the shoot, even the heels are laughing and waving and wait a minute, people are supposed to dislike you. So you've got to be an asshole from the gate to the ring during the match and leaving and going back. But I don't know who told them to smile and carry on. Rhonda used to do that. Mm -hmm. Even when she didn't want people to like her and they had her as a baby face. Uh, she's a horrible baby face, but she is a much more believable heel. Oh, you want to you want to kind of kill her too? Let me let me ask you this: with Gunther, how would you? <clears throat> because keep in mind, this is twenty twenty three. We can't be goose stepping from the Ministry of Silly Walks and wearing swastikas and a big skull on your military hat kind of thing. Yeah. But how would you update? Like, how would you make him more threatening? To look at, you know, maybe like a leather trench coat or something. How would you sort of update it for twenty twenty three to be more well, nationalistic? Well, he has he has that big red coat, and red is a sign of danger. I don't know if you could give him any type of headgear that would suggest <laughs> that. I don't know. A big spike out the top, maybe. <laughs> or <right, boy. laughs> you can't do that. But I think they've done just enough to get the message across. L- less is more. Mm-hmm. You don't got to paint him out like a Nazi stormtrooper because you know he's there. Now, the announcers don't cover that, but guess who does cover it? 
parents and fans. Mm-hmm. They tell each other. And it's like, a, it's not a secret, but see if WWE told them, their advertisers would go nuts. You can't do that because that opens them up for, oh, we need to cancel you, we'll cancel that. But less is more. You know, like I said, Vince looked like that little mustache. He looked like a, a villain in a James Cagney in a Humphrey Bogart movie in 1937. Yeah. And that's that's what he looks like. And his two his two little buddies with him. What's his one of his name? Uh, I can't even remember their names. The tag team, who are they? I c ca- I can't I can't remember. <laughs> I can't he's, remember he's got their little name. flunkies, which is good as well. Yeah, and they come out there and they put their heads behind them. And see, American military people don't do that. Only the Europeans do that. I'm, I'm going to try and look. What's now. your name? It's, 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 oh, it's going to bug me now, Moss. Ludwig Kaiser is one of them. Are you talking? Can you hear me? One sec. Okay, my audio went off two seconds then. Uh, yeah, Ludwig Kaiser and someone else. Yeah, Kaiser and his buddy. You know, Kaiser too. <laughs> <laughs> one and two yeah but again gunther i picked him out his first first time i saw him mm. and when they put him in his three-way i said well gunther has to has to go over in this one mm. because he's their standby heel and if something happened to roman guess where gunther's going right into spot right up now if Let's say Cody beat Roman, which he will at some point. Gunther is going up, going up, and going up. And then Gunther will go up against Cody. Big pay-per-view, maybe WrestleMania next year, maybe. And he'll take the belt. Now, here we go. Cody climbing that, climbing that hill again. So as long as they can keep him in constant turmoil, constant struggle, and a fight, they got him. And Cody is a good one to play that role. 